Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so we're back, um, or I'm back with a video about how to keep your eyeshadow on. So if you have trouble keeping eyeshadow on because you have oily lids or you need to keep your eyeshadow on because of work and it can't fade sort of thing, this might be a video that would go ahead and interest you. And so I'll go ahead and get started with what I have on today. And I did go ahead and start with the Super Stay C Plus. And I have mine in shade 102. That's what I have on as my base. I did go ahead and use the L'Oreal. And this is the LM1 as my concealer today. And then the Better Mint or the Better Melt bronzer, and this one's in Better Cup, which is the lightest shade. And with me, it turns out kind of peachy. I did go ahead and use, let's see, what else did we use today? Oh, instead of using a blush, um, I used the Revolution Super Dewy Highlighter, and um, the shades aren't on these, but um, that's what I have on as my blush today, and this particular highlighter is just a lot darker than um, some other highlighters, and so... Here's a swatch of it. So it's this one right over here. So uh, with this one, yeah, I just went ahead and used it as a blush. And so that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for the eyeshadow, I actually went ahead and made my own eyeshadows. And so that's what I have on today. Um, I do have some commercial eyeshadow on as well, but uh, I'll get to that in just a second. And I did go ahead and use Hard Candy Trefoils as far as and this highlighter that I went ahead and used on the cheek. So I did go ahead and do that. And then I mixed, uh, let's see, this one is, yeah, I think this is BFF2 and the NYX Butter Gloss Bling. Uh, the Butter Glosses from NYX that say bling on them actually have some uh, glitter in the formula, and so they're really pretty. So far, what I've seen, um, I know that they have a whole bunch of colors. I picked up gold, peach, and burgundy, and they're really fun as toppers. So that's what I have on there. As far as the rest of what I did on the eyes, uh, what I did was I went ahead and grabbed the color case. This is a Made by Mitchell product, the Ma Ma Ma, -ma Mitchell, and um, really popular over on TikTok. And uh, this is actually cream eyeshadows. I did go ahead and use this coral color today, and I went ahead and put that right on the brow bone. And then I took the yellow and the white, and I went ahead and mixed them on the back of my hand. And that's what I actually have on the lid. And the reason that I went ahead and did that was uh, so that the eyeshadows that I actually made had uh, something to go ahead and cling on to. And uh, this is a technique that's used to go ahead and... It's used by everybody these days. Um, you know, if you go ahead and put a cream blush on and then you put a powder blush on top and then a highlighter on top of that, the, all three layers are supposed to make the blush, you know, last longer. It's the same idea with the eyeshadow, that if you have, you know, a good cream base underneath there that has really set down, that if you, um, you put a, shimmer on top of that cream base when it's still before it's really set down that the shimmer is going to fold into your cream base and it's just going to stay on your face for a really long time and so um yeah that's what i did there um as far as let's see what are my i have swatches here this so uh this is one of the colors that i made and this one is actually going to be a red and orange. And then this one is actually going to be, let's see, what is that one? Eh, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more into that one. Um, it's actually a champagne. And um, let's 
see if that swatch turned out any better. Yeah, it's actually a champagne and a pink. And then the other one is a uh, red and an orange. So the one that I put over the coral is red and the orange. And then the one that I went ahead and put in the lid is actually going to be the champagne and pink. And then I did go ahead and put a little bit of um, this color on the outer corner without any of the cream underneath it. So, and that color turned out to be uh, much more of a coral. So, yeah, that's showing up at all. Shifting as of all these duochromes is making it difficult to get it to show up. But uh, that's what I went ahead and did, and that's my tip if you want to go ahead and have your eyeshadow go ahead and last a really long time. Um, I also use the Beauty Pie, the Triple Glow Powder, and so that's what I have on there. And then again, the standard, the usual suspects, and that's going to be Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde, and the Essence Latch Without Limits. Um, new one that just came out from Essence and all of their uh, mascaras, and that's what they're known for, about $5 or less, and so they're wonderful they're over at Alta, and uh, just really good products there. Okay, so what I did use to go ahead and make the eyeshadows is Universe Cosmetic Colorist, and it's Science Meets Style. And um, I did go ahead and mix a couple of um, duochrome uh, pigments that I have with a couple of regular pigments that they included. And so, um, yeah, this is, it's a fun little kit, and it's all-inclusive, and if you want to add to it, you can. It's over at Amazon, but um, yeah. I added uh, some multi-chrome, and uh, this is what came, and this is just champagne, and it came with a couple other colors, too. And so I've been mixing my own colors and making my own eyeshadows. And it's a fun, actually it's really fun, if you ever want to, you know, have an afternoon or have kids or teenagers who are interested in this kind of thing, then, um, yeah, it's a fun little project there. And it, I mean, you get a whole bunch of product to go along with it, so that's good. And I think that's actually the end of the video, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.